In this video, we will take a look at the Qiskit code for the bit flip code. In the Qiskit code, I'm going to show you a Qiskit code demonstration for the bit flip code using a zero state as the input. First of all, we will import the libraries for use. And then we will set up a quantum register consisting of 4 qubits and a classical register consisting of one classical bit. The classical bit stores the measurement results of a quantum bit. And as you might remember in the last video, there are three qubits as the input, but here we have four qubits as the input. And the reason is because we use the fourth qubit to simulate the error that might occur due to the bit flip. Since in the case case simulation, the circuit is ideal. By saying that, I meant it's a noise-free circuit, so there won't be any bit flipping during the qubit transmission. So in order to simulate a real quantum computer in which there are errors due to the noise, we will need to add an error simulation to our circuit. So our quantum circuit is formed of four qubits and one classical bit. And here we call it a bit flip circuit. And then we create the function called encoding for the encoder part. There are two control not gates, CX. The first qubit is the target bit. And the second qubit is the control bit. We use the two CNAT gates to encode a 1 qubit input circuit into a 3 qubit input circuit. To simulate the error caused by the bit flip, we added another qubit to our circuit called precise state. It is a superposition state and is initialized as a square root 1 over p 0 state plus square root p 1 state as shown in the formula right over here. With the error simulation, the probability of the bit flip is 0.3, and hence the probability for the qubit to remain at the same state is 0.7. In the 3 qubit input circuit, to simulate the error in order to create a probability for the bit flip, we are going to use the fourth qubit, which is Q3 on the bit flip circuit to generate the precise state. On the circuit diagram, we label the precise state as init. In the error simulation function, we first append the precise state to the quantum circuit, and then the qubit will be measured and the measurement results will be collapsed to one or zero state. We will then store the results in the classical bit. If the measurement result is 1, then we will apply a X gate to the target bit. It means that if the measurement result of the precise state is 0, then the input qubit won't be flipped. However, if the measurement result of the precise qubit is 1, then the input qubit will be flipped. We apply the same process to the three input qubits. And this is the function for measuring the qubits. And here is the function for the decoder. It contains two control NOT gates and one Toffley gate. For the C NOT gate, the first qubit is the target bit and the second qubit is the control bit. And for the Toffley gate, the first and the second qubit are control bits, and the third qubit is the target bit. So now we can put everything together. The first step is the encoding part, and the second step is the error simulation. We'll measure Q3, and the measurement results will be sent to the classical bits. Then we will use the measurement result to flip the Q0 by applying an X gate. 
and then we do the same thing for Q1 and Q2. After passing through the error simulation, we got to decode the output from the error simulation in step 3. And finally, we can measure the results of Q0 to check the probability of the bit flip. And here is the measurement result. We use the Kasson simulator so we can clearly plot the probability of the bit flip. The result shows that the probability for a qubit to remain at the same state is 0.769 in the 3 qubit input circuit. And recall that we set the flipping probability to be 0.3, which means that if we did not apply the bit flip code, then the probability of the zero state to be measured at the output is 0.7. So in conclusion, we here have proof that by applying the bit flip code, we can lower the probability of the bit flip. And that sums up the Qiskit code demonstration for the bit flip code. We apply an error simulation for the bit flip error and show the results of the simulation. And finally, we've proved that the bit flip code can lower the bit flip probability. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.